Well, hey everybody, 650 Eve here. Welcome home to the channel. I've pulled out the beautiful 2024 BMW M1000 XR. And in this video, you're gonna see some smackdowns versus my good buddy Frank on his 2023 Kawasaki H2SX. And in today's video, all of the 360 footage is gonna be provided to us by our good friends at Insta360 using their fantastic new X4 camera and the GPS remote. The X4 is mounted to the bike in the perfect position to give us some outstanding views of me riding the bike and of the smackdowns that will ensue. This is the GPS camera. You can see it shows exactly what it's recording. You can tap this button and it can flip it around and show you what's on the opposite side of the 360 camera as well. I like to keep it on myself. And you can see it's recording right now. Easy to start and stop the recording with this button right here. And the other button can actually turn off the remote itself or turn off the remote and the camera at the same time. That is absolutely outstanding. But uh, I absolutely love that camera. A link to it is in the description of this video. One other cool thing about the Insta360 X4 is that it has artificial intelligence editing, guys. So it makes it super easy when you're using the Insta360 app to edit your 360 content. You can click a button and let the AI do it for you if you so desire. Super, super awesome. So uh, let's check this bike out really quick in the yard. And uh, as we prepare to head out and meet our good buddies, including Frank on his H2SX. And can you guys believe on this beautiful day, there's only three or four people out riding on the filthy streets of Cleveland. The rest of the guys are gonna be at their local hangout, the Sheets. <laughs> and my good buddy Jeff Vargo's shop, which don't get me wrong, it's cool to go to those places and hang out. Jeff's an awesome guy. There's always fun activities at his shop, but you guys gotta get out and ride these bikes. Oh man, look at that beautiful, beautiful bike. Our good buddy Brian purchased my Rotobox Boost carbon fiber wheels off of my uh, Pinagale 1199R. And I must say, my first time seeing it mounted on his bike, they look fantastic on this machine. We gotta get him the red nut right there that that'll set it off. And on the other side, yeah, we'll get him all that stuff. But uh, it is looking beautiful. Love his exhaust. I see that he's removed the baffles. So it's probably super loud. That's great. We got a guy on a Suzuki Chixer 1000 with some beautiful blue wheels. Lovely. If I want it, I get it, you know what I'm worth Man, I feel like a god
on the top end, man. It's insane. guys that'll do it that'll do it fantastic racing <laughs> good one <laughs> fantastic racing indeed and now oh look at that wheelie <laughs> insane insane wheelie this guy Frank is something else and that bike is not even flashed yet just wait till you see what happens when we put the Bryn tuning ECU flash on that beast and totally wake it up it'll probably destroy this bike from beginning to end but we're going to do that to his bike, but then this bike is going to be enhanced with a full Akrabovich exhaust system and stage two brand tuning. So, wow. These racing, these races are going to get even more exciting. always ask why you don't see a lot of people in downtown filthy Cleveland well the answer today it's a Sunday so a lot of people are at home or with families or just not downtown guys okay but having said that during the week there isn't a tremendous amount of people in downtown Cleveland either it's just that's just the way it is so now that Frank was nice enough to spank me and destroy me on his H2 SX there we go I now get to ride it and test it out First thing I'm going to figure out is how to start it up. I'm sure it's one of these ways. There we go. Ah. Very comfy. Very comfy indeed. Reminds me a lot of my H2, but with a magnificent display cluster. Jeez. Can you guys believe this is the first time I've ever ridden this bike? It's been out for several years. Definitely, definitely tell us we 
restricted. If it were flash, there would be no, no competition at all. Watch why I beat him off the rim because this bike is not flash. Well, my bike looks great. This particular bike, uh, not very impressive. I don't feel confident like I like I do on the MXR, and that could be because it doesn't have Pirelli tires on it. See that it has cornering lights, just like the MXR, the Multistrada. Very nice. That's kind of like a sport touring sort of thing, I guess. It's nice to see that this bike has hell hold. I'm pretty sure it has, oh, there it is, heated grips. All right, there's the button, oh yeah, okay. So just like on my ZX-10 when I added heated grips, there's a button and uh, it activates when you turn on the heated grips. I think this motorcycle has, oh look at that, it's green. I think this motorcycle has adaptive cruise control also, which is pretty nice. So I'm very impressed with this beautiful machine especially with the gauges. That's awesome. And I'm even more impressed with how it handled itself during our smackdowns.